Hi there guys, this is Leah from Happy Ham Ham. I hope you're all good. Um, today's video is going to be about the Glasgow Hamster Show that we went to back in August. But I thought I would take this opportunity to introduce you to the newest member of the family as well, seeing as she was there. Uh, this is Badger. She is a beautiful little dwarf hamster that we got from Pets at Home. And I normally don't recommend buying hamsters, but in this case here for Badger I made a huge exception. Um, she's just an absolutely stunning little hamster and she's a cuddle ham, so she's got no problem being handled and picked up and played with. She was an absolute star at the show. People would come over and they would pick her up and handle her. And um, The photographer that was there for the um, paper got lots of lovely little photos of her, which is hilarious because she's not normally a photogenic hamster. Norm normally she's more interested in kind of like running around and playing, but she was getting perfect shots. Um, she was just being a perfect little model for somebody that wasn't me. So that's Badger, guys, and we're going to get started with the video. Hi there guys, this is Leah from Happy Ham Ham. I hope you're all good and having a great day. Um, welcome back to the channel. And if you've not been to the channel before, then hi, I'm Leah. I'm a small pet YouTuber who focuses on hamster care. I'm currently here in Glasgow and um, we're at a hamster show and it's the first one in Glasgow, um, I believe ever. Um, and it's definitely one of the only ones in Scotland that we've had in years. The last one we had was, <sighs> Oh, I don't know, um, but this is my first show and I'm really excited. Um, Perch has been entered into the main classes, so I'm really pleased with that. And um, my new hamster Badger has been put into the pet class and everybody loves her, so yay. Um, so yeah, no, I'll bring you through and we'll have a wee quick peek at all the animals if I'm allowed. So, so yeah, let's go. So guys, we're waiting for the pet class to start the judging and things like that. Perch done really well in her class. Um, she got a reserved a best hamster, so I'm dead happy about that. Um, it's really warm though, so I'm a little concerned about the heat. And as you can probably tell by the noise, there is a lot of people here for the pet class. Um, a lot. So. <laughs> I don't know how Badger's going to fare. I'm hoping she's going to do well though because she's such a good wee animal. So guys, as you can see, we have a massive turnout right now. There's a lot more in the pet class than was expected and it's very, very busy as a result. But it's been so great. We've had so many people um, asking questions and talking to us. There was one girl as well who came up to me and she started asking about like proper cages, proper care and things like that. And her mum done fantastic because her mum had turned around and said, you're not getting a hamster until you do the research. And that is just perfect, spot on parenting right there. But yeah, no, like I said, it's very busy just now. So yeah, hopefully the pet, hopefully the pet class starts very soon because it's still very warm as well. So gonna go. So guys, I'm back home. Um, today was brilliant. There was a lot of people there at the show. It was an amazing turnout. I believe there was 28 in the main classes and I want to say 40 in the pet class today, which was amazing considering the fact we weren't sure how well it was going to turn out. Um, both Hammies won awards, which I'm really, really pleased about. Um, Perch done amazing. She actually got quite a few awards. So this is what she got. So she got um, Reserved Best in Show, 
which is basically second place. And she got second place for Dom Spot and second place for the Grand Nash the Grand Challenge as well. So Perch done really well. So guys, this is what Badger won. She actually came third in the pet dwarf class for female. And I was super pleased with that because I honestly, there was so many hamsters there in the pet class. I didn't think that she would actually win anything at all. Um, but no, she done really well. And she, do you know something? She was an absolute star at the show. She was absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm super proud of her. I think she done a great job. She was great at getting handled. She, She's just an amazing little animal. And I'm so pleased to have her in my life right now. She's just such a wonderful wee creature. And this is when my files got corrupt. So I have to kind of just fill in the last few bits with like just me kind of chatting and letting you guys watch Badger run, I think. Um, so what had happened at the pet show was amazing. I really enjoyed myself. But I think if I was to do it again, I would enter Perch into the pet class instead of into the pedigree. Um, if I was to do that with any animals, I'd probably put them into the pet class instead. The reason being is that Perch has not been herself since the show. Um, I think it just overstressed her. And I think it was it was too warm for starters. It was far too warm. And um, we weren't allowed to unbench the hamsters until the very end of the show. So it meant she was in that tiny container the entire day. And I didn't personally agree to that. I didn't think that was very fair. Um, so I think if I was to do... The pet, if I was to do it again, I would definitely put her into the pet class. I wouldn't do that to her again, I don't think. It was definitely a good day, though. Um, there was lots of people there. And I do want to give a little shout-out to my friend, Cody, who has, in fact, got an Instagram. Um, and that is um, Snowy the Hamster. She um, is an amazing little wee white dwarf hamster. And she's absolutely stunning. And you've seen her a little bit in the video today with Cody. Um, honestly, guys... Like he's he's brilliant. He's just such an such a nice wee boy. So I do recommend going and checking him out. He's, he's got an amazing cute little animal. So I do recommend going and checking him out. Um. Anyway, guys, that is the video all done. So thank you very much, and I will see you in the next one, which is going to be very very fun for me because it is about UK cage sizes and the most common cages that you get here in the UK and how they're too small. Um. And I do actually have a whole load of them that I'm going to be going through. So hopefully see you guys in the next video. See you then. Bye.